Welcome to the Chirofusion eLearning series. In this tutorial, I want to cover the clinical dashboard, patient dashboard, insurance tab, alerts and notes, and medical history. We'll begin with the clinical dashboard. This makes it extremely easy for you to manage your patients. Information is grouped into various categories, as you can see. So we'll start on the left here and we'll work our way down. We have uh, the patient's contact information, how are they were referred to our office. We have any alerts that have been set for this patient. I should also mention if we want to edit any of the, the information contained in these boxes, we would simply click on the header and we could make any changes, any additions that we needed to and save the information like that. Uh, moving down, we have patient notes. We have a financial snapshot right here, patient's primary insurance, a number of authorized visits if there were any, how many are remaining, patient's deductible and copay, and the insurance balance, patient balance, and total balance on this account. Moving down, we have information pertaining to the case, the onset of the patient's condition, the first visit to our office, how many visits they've had, with us and if they are represented by an attorney that would be noted here as well. We also have a running history of their past appointments with us. If we wanted to reference one of these we would simply click on a link and we'd bring up the report. Moving on we have uh, vitals Again, if we click on the header, we're taken to a section where we can enter some a new set of vitals. Go back. Patient's medical history, any surgeries, family history, prior chiropractic care. And we can access this either by clicking the header or one of these tabs right over here, or this tab I should say, and going to the past medical history. And have a lot of options uh, to document hospitalizations, allergies, social history, sexual, previous tests, medical procedures, dietary habits, and nutritional supplements. Okay. Continuing on, the patient's subjective complaints are listed for us right here. And any diagnostic studies that the patient has had to date will also be presented in uh, this section under diagnostic studies. Patient's diagnosis, care plan details. Again, it keeps a running tally for us. Uh, the uh, initial care plan called for a total of 13 visits and we have nine remaining. It tells us that there's a follow-up exam due on September 3rd and it also tells us the anticipated date of release for this patient. Um, continuing on we have the patient's listings if we want to reference these as well as any images that we stored for this patient x-rays, MRIs, and CT scans, what have you. Now moving on to the patient dashboard you can see there are four tabs across the top here we have already entered this information, but if we needed to go in and change anything, this is where we would do it. So patient's name, date of birth, contact information, you know, phone and email, um, their primary care provider, if we wanted to add that, we could do that here. Any demographic information, we would do that under this tab, emergency contact, their employment history, and the settings tab right here. We can set this patient as being active or inactive in the system. I would just recommend leaving the patient as active. It's not really gonna affect anything. And we could indicate if we wanted to send this patient appointment reminders from the settings tab as well by just checking this box off. And if we have an email address entered for this patient, we'll be able to send them email reminders of any upcoming appointments. Okay, moving on to the insurance tab. 
again we've already filled this tab out but if you need to go back in again and make any changes to their insurance uh, coverage we would do it right here same thing you wanted to add maybe a secondary insurance policy you could do that under the other insurance we even have an option for a tertiary insurance um, details regarding the case we just highlight the case and we can see that this is a, a low back injury general complaint date of onset and you know some other pertinent information and the last tab here is authorizations if we contacted the insurance company they provided us with an authorization we could enter that information here the approved codes start and end date and how many visits were approved and save that information and this concludes our tutorial on the clinical dashboard and patient dashboard sections of the EHR